Did you know Edward Hopper rode the rails to Gloucester? Edward Hopper, one of the most celebrated and beloved American artists of the 20th century, frequently traveled by public rail from New York to Gloucester with his first visit in 1912. Gloucester's little downtown was smaller than the familiar blocks by his home and studio in New York City. Disembarking from the train at Gloucester Station, he would walk straight to the lodgings downtown. He would spend days walking the area, sketching and painting. Regular trolley schedules to Gloucester neighborhoods beyond downtown were as easy as taking the L or the subway for this seasoned city dweller. Hopper clearly used any public staircases and right of ways. Turn around from one of his Gloucester views and there's likely to be the same stone steps, sidewalk, or giant granite boulder that he climbed in his time. In 1928, his last summer in Gloucester, he owned a car, a direct benefit from the great response and sales of the magnificent 1920s Gloucester works. There are nearly 100 Gloucester paintings, prints, and drawings, including views of the Anasquam River train bridge to Cape Ann a boarding house in downtown Gloucester where he stayed, the freight cars and railroad gates, and numerous other homes and sites still visible to residents and visitors today. Many of them encircle the perimeter of and points within Gloucester's downtown and make it possible to experience Gloucester as Hopper and other artists did, by train and on foot.